What are some fun things to do around with your sew at home that is in sex? Hide and seek. Hiding as an adult is simultaneously easier and more difficult because you're way more creative about where you hide, but also like twice as tall as you were the last time you probably played. Sometimes when the stars align we both yell the same thing at the kids. My husband works third shift and I am home with two tiny children so we usually don't see each other during the week for long periods of time. I have a giant dry erase board and we will leave little notes for each other, just saying I love you or silly things like little poems or drawings. It's fun to get up in the morning and find a surprise on the board. For Valentine's I wrote him a dirty haiku in his card and I woke up to this on the board. Roses are red violets are finer if you suck my dick I'll lick your veganer. I like to purposely misunderstand her in ridiculous ways. She might ask me to bring up her post-it notes from downstairs, so I'll say no worries and bring up the toaster, then very seriously ask her what on earth she wanted that for. When she asked for her car keys and I dragged up the Christmas tree was probably the highlight. Edit. For those wondering, the car keys had a USB on the key ring. You should have heard her when the Christmas tree starting coming through the bedroom door. Play board games, or cuddle up on a couch watching movies, or spending a day in the kitchen cooking a massive meal just for the sake of it. We sometimes get a little crazy and hold hands. When my partner and I moved house, we found a small Yoda figurine while we were unpacking. Neither of us had ever seen it before. It is now the surprise Yoda and we take turns hiding it around the house for the other to find, discover. When it is located, the person who found it shouts U D D D A A A A A, laughs, and then hides it again. I live surprise Yoda, edit, mistake did I make? Both live and love the Yoda I do. Edit to an incomplete list of places where Yoda was hid, asterisk atop a weeping angel asterisk inside a box of tea, under the cap on a can of hairspray, inside a packet of wet wipes that had been taken to a festival, inside a packet of cigarettes, standing in the eye socket of a painted animal skull, within the rib cage of a small, rubber skeleton strangely, some of the best places have been in plain sight, but situated somewhere that your eyes just move over, so that when you do notice it, it's extra baffling that you didn't see it before. We play fight and wrestle sometimes, but that sometimes ends up in sex anyway. Read books. Play Overcooked. Edit. Reading together. Imagine sitting quietly with your so each reading something. You don't have to talk. You're both engaged, and you acknowledge each other non-verbally, touches, glances etc. Pause to read some passage you liked to her or ask what a word or cultural reference means. I think it's very relaxing. Recently she was reading The Three Body Problem, which I've already read, and I was thumbing through Rick Steve's Spain because we're going to Madrid to climb in a few months. I recall a movie quote that escapes me where someone is explaining how a good test of a relationship is comfort in being able to just shut the beep up and relax in silence. Maybe someone can help me remember. And overcooked is absolutely stressful, but that stress doesn't have to be bad. In a four-person scenario everyone is inevitably yelling over each other. I play video games to relax and have since I was a kid. She gets really hyped up. There's a planning, engineering. Aspect to this is you inevitably will fail a level, which is fun. She's a much more organized planning-oriented personality. I have noticeably higher mechanical skill at a PS4 controller and I can watch what she's doing and still throw chicken into pans across traffic. It's fun to blame each other for beep up but nobody really takes the game too seriously. Also op, all of this is actually just foreplay anyway. Pillow fort with subsequent break-in of said fort because no girls allowed. Then let her stay because I guess she's not so bad and hash x200b. I will go on ask reddit, see one of the top questions that look interesting, then ask her that question. It almost always gets good conversation going. Edit, wow this blew up. I was really tempted to erase my comment and replace it with, we like to go to the park and push over little kids. Thought it would be funny, especially seeing all the oh we do that too. Comments, dot but I don't know if mods would ban me or not. My fiancé will do something completely normal and playful like a little poke or shake or something and I'll go completely limp like I'm dead and every single time he laughs so hard and goes oh and gee stop I know you're faking IT stop while laughing. 
It'll go on for sometimes three or four minutes until he tickles me or I peek open my eyes or he catches me smiling and yells dead people don't smile. It never gets old and I do it every now and again cause it's so much fun. Put on some lively music and dance, even better if neither of you know how. Buy a ridiculous number of novelty rubber ducks and hide them all over the home. Never stop, even if it ends your relationship. Carrot I regret asterisk carrot nothing. My GF and I have a movie list. The idea is this. I have a list of movies I love that she hasn't seen and she is one of movies I haven't seen. We take turns showing each other a movie. I had her watch Howl's Moving Castle with me she loved it. Next up is Spirited Away. Her movies tend to be more chic flicky, but I still enjoy watching them with her. Plus we've expanded to shows and she's got me into gut which I could never get into on my own. When it's all done we'll have seen each other's movies completely. You can learn a lot about someone from their taste in movies. Nerf Gun Fight For my last birthday my wife bought two of those foam ball shooter guns from Costco. Every once in a while one of us will come home to table forts and obstacles, with a loaded ball shooter waiting by the door. I love her, she's awesome. Last night before bed, we made shadow puppets on the ceiling using a phone flashlight in our hands. She giggled at all of my dumb attempts. My awful duck puppet led her to do a spot on Donald Duck impression that I've never heard her do before. Made me laugh hard. I'm a little late but my wife and I since we got married will play cards together. The loser of each round has to pick up, clean 10 things. At the end we've played some games together but also got a lot of cleaning done edit. Thanks for the silver. The ultimate game is getting more karma than my wife. Edit, gold. I may never need to clean again. Thanks. Do the 36-ish questions that make you fall in love. I think you can find the list on the NYT or anywhere online probably now. Playing games together. Anything from board games to card games to video games to sports, etc. Edit, it's 5.30 in the morning and my phone is blowing up. Let me get my sleep you cheeky tarts. JK, thanks for all the likes, angelic face. Find a board game the two of you like to play together, it helps if it has a theme you both or expansions that make it an ongoing thing. My boyfriend and I love playing the Arkham Horror Living Card Game together and it's become a constant activity we can turn to. We have yet to replay a scenario because new chapters to the story keep coming out, read. I like to read out loud and don't get the chance to do it often enough, so while my boyfriend plays games in his computer to wind down in the evening, I read out loud to him. It works for him when he can focus on the game and the story, like listening to an audiobook or podcast in the background but maybe not the best if multitasking isn't your style. Cook together. Find something that you both like that isn't too involved and make a night of cooking or preparing if you work and need more of a crock or instapot option and eating with one another. If possible, not on the couch or in bed, but at the table. Feel free to dress you. Pee the table too, put a candle on there. Even if you cooked hot dogs together, make it the fanciest damn hot dog dinner you ever did see. Multiplayer video games can be fun too. I'm not a huge gamer myself, like, at all. Hand-eye coordination is beep but my boyfriend got a switch recently and took the time to teach me to play Super Smash and then we played together for a little while pop in a movie you've both seen before and enjoy your own running commentary as it plays. Crack jokes, make comments, and enjoy the movie all at once. Learn a new recipe together. Just got a new pasta maker and we're gonna learn to make pasta, lasagna plates and noodles from scratch. A little music in the background and voila. And hash x200b, you learn a new skill together, which you also get to eat. I found try not to laugh videos much more fun with my so. Basically everything, I love that guy. Have a 4 hour long argument. Tidying up the home. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.